Hello everyone, welcome back to The Kitchen Table. Today on The Kitchen Table, uh, just uh, a bit of a, a, a launch announcement for a new service from the um, rather clever Cody guys at Altitude Angel, um, which slightly blown me away really about how it all could possibly work behind the scenes, but it's, I think, the start of a, you know, the beginning of a really major innovation towards helping everyone to be safe um, and to helping us to you know, make sure that the image of drone flying amongst the general public is one of really responsible people. So that's quite cool. So we're gonna have a look at that. But before we do, it's the kitchen table. We need to have a beverage when we're discussing our drones because that's what we do here. And um, it's uh, in the morning and uh, definitely well before midday. So I'm on the uh, home roasted monsooned Malabar. Uh, cheers. Oh, that's really good. Um, uh, apologies for those waiting for uh, more um, Typhoon H uh, flights and testing. Uh, a, weather was appalling um, earlier on in the week, and B, as is witnessed by the uh, the own brand paracetamol suspension, I've had ill children as well. So uh, coupled with that, work has gone nuts. So hopefully this weekend we get back on back on track. But today, Altitude Angel. Um, you may remember quite a while back, I went to speak to Altitude Angel and I've trailed the launch of their drone safety map, which I really like because as well as giving you a map which shows you things like airports and airspace and no-fly zones, it also shows ground hazards. Um, they've got this massive database that they've collated from various sources. So it shows you things like perhaps sensitive areas like schools and um, public parks. Uh, but also uh, shows you things like power transmission lines and railways and so you know it helps you to keep on the right side of, of, of things. Really great planning tool especially if you're a pro commercial drone operator particularly. But the, what they've launched and it's just literally launched today um, is a new feature which allows you to receive a live alert via email or text message. If Altitude Angel sees a light aircraft or a commercial aircraft that it thinks is going to encroach into your flying area. Now I'm going to say that again because I couldn't quite believe it. So basically what they've done is they've managed to get a service together which gets real-time primary and secondary radar and real-time ADSB. You tell them where and when you're flying and it will send you a real-time in advance alert that says there's an aircraft coming, it's going to approach within a certain distance in a certain direction, keep an eye out. So um, what I'm going to do is is just take you straight in um, to me setting up an alert, which I did earlier this morning, in perhaps a place that I wouldn't suggest you fly, but it was a place that I knew I could use to, to, to trigger what's going to happen. So let's go and have a look at that. Okay, so here we are on the uh, Altitude Angel homepage. Um, I've logged in. Um, and here we go to drone safety map. Now, what I'm going to do is obviously try and um, spoof some alerts because, you know, I need to find somewhere where there are a lot of planes. So we're going to use Heathrow Airport, which is obviously a stupid place to fly your drone. And I know none of you would ever do so. Um, now, as you can see, the first thing is uh, the, the Altitude Angel safety map shows you both no fly zones and airports with controlled airspace in them. If we remove those, I can now see what I'm doing. So look, let's put an alert. Let's um, let's f <laughs> let's fly somewhere really inappropriate. Let's pretend we 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 know nothing and we're going to fly in this nice bit of greenery. It looks lovely. It just happens to be on the uh, at the end of the runway at Heathrow, so probably not ideal. Um, but you've got this button here, airspace alerts. Tell us where and when you're going to fly and we'll monitor. So uh, let's call this one idiot. And we're going to monitor it today between this time and that time. It's defaults to an hour, but you can change it for whatever. I, I don't want an hour because it'll go. Um, warn about low flying aircraft. It's got these other options that are going to come in to say, well, actually it could warn you about hazardous weather and no fly zone activations coming soon. So if you know you're going to go flying next weekend, you can have this already in and see what's going to happen. Alert via email and alert via SMS. Now, if you're on one of the SMS uh, plans, you can do that. I've got one of those, so I'll put that it's good to go. Um, and you agree to the terms and conditions. 
and it says, right, where are you going to be flying? Put this in your center. So the center of this circle is going to be where you're flying. I think I'm going to stand here and going to try and get some lovely shots of the airport with my drone, which would of course be ridiculous. But again, we're just doing this to proof of proof of concept. Your alert is now being set up. In most cases, it will be activated in a minute and you'll get an alert via your chosen method when monitoring begins. That is it. And then what you do is you have a, hang on a second. Oh, I get a text message that says monitoring of idiot has started. <laughs> Further notifications are relative to the center of the airspace alert. This is a free message. So I got a text message that confirms it's set up and an email as well. And then we just wait. Ah, I've got an alert. There's an aircraft seven miles east, which is expected to pass less than one mile to the south in the next one to two minutes. It's currently doing 158 miles an hour at only a thousand feet. So already it's telling me I should be looking to the south less than a mile away. Already. Brilliant. So as you can see, that's really simple. Click and drag. You can set it for the future. Um, uh, and it just works. And it's really really clever i've been testing this out over the last week or so in their development system and uh, you know um, finding a couple of small bugs for them that, that, that they fixed but just the system just works now obviously they would want as per their terms of service the disclaimers have to be all over the place and that you know not everything shows up on radar um so you know um small foot launched aircraft and uh perhaps anything military that doesn't is on is on mission or doesn't want to be broadcasting and so on and so forth so you still can't just rely on it you need to use your brain and your eyes but as a as a kind of a warning tool an alert tool to keep you on your toes i think that's brilliant and for me as you know i wear a, a pebble smartwatch other brands are available but what was great about that was you'll see here when i get a text message on my phone the alert vibrates on my wrist if i'm out flying i can just have a quick look and it will tell me in a really succinct tech message from the south in about one to two minutes i can then immediately start to try and visually pick it up or listen and just it gives you that comfort that you know a low-flying helicopter or something like that isn't going to kind of sneak up on you um, you also on the can choose to not receive sms's you can choose to receive um, email alerts or both and this system works worldwide. It's not just in the UK, it's in the US, it's in Europe, it's everywhere. And they are bringing on more and more alerts as time goes on, as well as the standard stuff that the map does at the moment. So weather and, uh, and giving you a bit of a hint about what the regulatory requirements might be in your part of the world. So there's three, um, there's three ways to start up. There's the starter, which is basically a trial. So come along, sign up, no charge. You get, you can then run eight um, alerts. You can put eight circles up and have those one at a time, I think. Um, have those live for up to 60 minutes each and it will send you emails so you can test the system out. Um, the basic plan is £3.99 a month or the equivalent in your, in your currency. You get alerts via emails, alerts via text if you want, which is great if you're out and about without any 3G signal. They should get through up to, I think, a total of 20 alert messages. Um, and you can set up 31, I think, different alerts. So that's one every day of the month, really. And then they do a pro subscription, which is £8.99 a month, which is kind of 100 alerts and 200 you can have 200 set up. Uh, so again, if you're going out and doing three or four jobs a, a, a day as a commercial pilot, or you're just a recreational pilot who fly, flies a lot. So have a good, certainly I would encourage everyone to have a look at, play with it. If you have not using it already, use the map just as a flight planning tool, it's brilliant. Go and have a look at the free one. If it, if it looks like something that's gonna be of value, then see if you wanna sign up. I've twisted their arm and they've said that anybody uh, anybody who's viewing this, who's one of my viewers, if you want to use the code KTABLE16, K-T-A-B-L-E-1-6, all in uppercase, um, then you will get 15% off any subscription um, for a year. And that includes if you choose to upgrade packages. Um, it's, there's no contract, there's no tie-in, it rolls over each month, it's done through Stripe, so it's a well-known thing. So I just think as a safety innovation, 
if you fly and you value uh, keeping everybody on side with what the hobby's doing, then I think you've really got to think about looking at this. Um, the, the tech behind it is I, I have no understanding of how they are monitoring what everyone's doing, but it works. <laughs> Uh, and it works in real time. It's live. It's not. I've you know, I've had a look before in the past at things like Flight Radar Twenty Four, some of these free plane tracker uh, things, and their data is always at least twenty thirty minutes delayed. Um, but Altitude Angels is real time, and that I think could be really valuable, especially if you're flying in an area where you know there's you know a lot of air traffic. It's perfectly fine for you to be there, but you just want to have that extra. A safety buffer. I think it's a real step forward for safety and I encourage you to go and check it out. Many thanks for your time. I hope you found that really interesting. They won't tell me how it all works. It's all very hush-hush and proprietary, but I wish I knew because it's damn clever. Um, it, it, go and check it out. Many thanks and I'll see you again soon back on the kitchen table. Until then, everyone, cheers.